everyone and welcome to a brand new weekly vlog it is Monday um, it's like 8 o'clock 8 20 p.m. actually to be exact it's Monday and today was a work day even though we only had to go to work for one day right sorry about that I'm just trying to like get this light here looking good so it was Monday today I had work and it was a very weird day. It was like, it felt like Friday because we all have tomorrow off. Tomorrow is Australia Day, um, which is a public holiday, so we don't have to go to work. But it just felt so weird. Like, it was so slow. It dragged on and on. And I don't know how many times I looked down at the clock. And I totally wish I could have had today off, but I couldn't because I didn't have anybody else to sort of backfill my job today, that it would have been nice, I can tell you that much. But anyway, I get a long weekend next week and I really, really should not complain. In case you don't know and you've never watched me before, um, in my job I get a long weekend every second weekend. Um, so we, I work a nine day fortnight and the way my work does that is we work a little bit extra each day to then get that other full day off. And it's really good because it just means you have a day to just go do appointments and get all the stuff that's like open in business hours. I like get it out of the way. So I really like it. I'd actually be one of those people where if I could work super long hours for just three days a week and then always get a four day weekend, I would probably like prefer that. Sort of it's a nice setup. So like I said, I shouldn't complain. Like a long weekend next weekend. So I had work, came home, went to training it was killer I actually oh I reckon I was close to being sick it was so hot and the sweat was just dripping off me like I need a shower it's it's disgusting it was a very good session like I definitely got a workout in like it was ugh, so sweaty and so much cardio but I'll give you all a pup date as I'm calling it since you would have seen last week's vlog which is what I'm just currently finishing tonight so um, hopefully it's gone out on Tuesday for you all which is when I want weekly vlogs to go out they've been fine my sister said they've barely coughed today but I did have Caddy before she I was eating my dinner and she was lying down it was like she got stuck coughing but she was lying sideways and she just wasn't moving it, it reminded me a little bit of like a seizure type but she was just kind of like uh, 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 and like just wouldn't move so like I helped her up because I felt like she needed to stand and then calmed her down and she was okay so I don't know if it's just she's just coughing sideways maybe she didn't want me to move her but it just it didn't look right so I was like uh let me help you so that's the only thing but once again it was it was just a cough and if it's kennel cough there's not much you can do they can have these coughs for two to three weeks we check their temperatures daily temperatures are completely normal like I said, Molly has antibiotics for kennel cough, but Cadbury doesn't, because technically they have not diagnosed her with kennel cough, but I strongly believe that's currently what she has, because she's not bringing up any food anymore. We do the whole feeding her upright thing. I think I mentioned this, but anyway, we do the whole feeding upright thing, but we're not as strict as, like, walking her around for 20 30 minutes after eating, and she lies down, and it's fine. And with the megaesophagus, the coughing seemed to only happen when she would lie down. Whereas now she just, she mainly coughs and she gets really excited about something. So yeah, that's your pup date. Molly is fine. She really is only coughing when she gets really overly excited about something. They're both not in here right now. I think Cadbury's at my door. Yeah, they sleep out there because I've got the air con on. So like there's a little gap here. And it, it actually feels nice when you're on the floor. All the cold air just sort of goes out there. I can see why they like it. They ain't stupid. That's normally Molly's spot, but Caddy came and claimed it at the moment, so Molly must be somewhere else in the house. But Sunday, I actually did some planner planning. I know, so exciting. So I'm going to show you what I did because, like, it's not the best. Oh, shouldn't put the camera there. It's not, like, the most amazing Erin Condren planner-looking, like, design ever, but I just feel... 
I feel like I've got my week sorted. So let me show you what I've done. There's poo over there. I don't drink coffee or any hot drinks, but I brought this mug literally just to put like pencils and stuff. It just holds on my highlighters. Cause yes, I love highlighters. I highlight stuff. Anyway, so this is how I've sort of set out the page. Like I said, there's not much on there. I've put in when I want to do training the four times a week. And at the bottom, I've done a to-do list because I want to... There's nothing on these two days yet. Um, when the weekend is, this is Australia Day. When I have appointments, I'd put those in. I have sort of nothing. But down the side here, I was like, what should I do? And I was like, I know, I'll give myself like a weekly to-do. So it's not on a specific day that it has to be... Whoops, sorry. It's not on a specific day it has to be done by, but it's just stuff I want to do this week. And then I wanted to write my goals. So... This week, I want to reach chapter 41 of P.S. I Still Love You. Ideally, I'd like to finish it, but chapter 41 was another 100 or so pages, so I thought that's achievable. I need to order new makeup from Mecca because I am nearly all out, and I do wear makeup every day to work. I'm just one of those people that I like looking, like, presentable for work. Not everyone has to wear makeup to work, obviously, but it's just something I like. And then I really need to just clean my room. Like... Not so much, it's like there's stuff crazily everywhere, it's, I don't know why I attract dust and then I have dogs, but like this is dust, and that's only from a couple of weeks, I, I don't know, so that's why I'm also, I need to just wipe all this down, where did that come from, I have no clue. So that is what I want to do by this week, and then my goals for the week are to attend Four sessions of training, drink to two to three litres of water daily. Today I've drunk two and a half, so I'm already on that, and I've still got like heaps of water I'll probably drink while I'm editing over here. And I want to make sure I track my food every day, um, just so I know what I've eaten. I don't do the best. I use the Fitbit app, just because I have a Fitbit, and I just find it easier to do it all through there. Um, I don't think it necessarily when I say track my food I don't think I honestly get the calories right because I don't weigh my food but I just like tracking it as more so I like knowing what I eat so then if my the challenge that I'm doing if they say hey what have you eaten this week I literally take a screenshot and be like well this is what I ate like the grams and whatnot might be off but at least you can have an idea of what I've eaten I even add in when I sneak a little chocolate or something because I just want to make sure it is all in there so I know what I'm eating. So tonight I've got to upload weekly vlog number nine, I've got to finish it, and schedule in some posts on my Facebook page because um, I like having, I try and get stuff out every Monday to Friday at least, I'm trying to think of content, sort of content I want to write, I just don't find time so I've left myself some time in there and normally I probably wouldn't do two of those things on a Monday night when I have work the next day but I don't have work tomorrow, so I'll probably be up till like 1am, which I know I shouldn't be. But knowing me, I will be. So there you go. That is my Monday. Planner all done. I'm going to edit. Actually, I might have a shower first. Yeah, I need to get out of these clothes. It's gross. But are you proud of me? I actually put stuff in my planner. Go me. I've even added in stuff like lunch for work because I'm really bad at remembering to like get my lunches together the night before and I don't wake up early for anyone it's hard it's hard to even wake me up early for Disney okay so I need to like get my lunch all together for the next day so then I can just wake up get ready and go instead of worrying about waking up an extra 20 minutes early or something to get it all together so you yeah, know look I use my planner I'm so excited I'm using like the ruler as a bookmark even though I've currently just been leaving it open here oh and in case you're wondering I hope this doesn't like kill people's brightness this is what my cousin got for me for Christmas it is honestly not that expensive um I think she got it from Kmart I honestly I don't they're not more than $50 because we weren't allowed to spend any more than $50 but it does a really good job so if you're a first time YouTuber like I've never even had a ring light until this point look it is good enough for me right now so can recommend and you can actually change let me show you the cool thing about this is you can actually change that you can obviously dim it and whatnot so like that's a duller light I have it on sort of really bright but I guess I just like that 
look, but you can change the type of light this. This is more like a daylight light. This is like a really warm light. And then you've got like the white LED light. But I like the daylight light the best and I think it shows the best on here. So in case you're wondering, really inexpensive and a pretty good ring light and it works off USB power. So you, I just have a USB um, power outlet, but I guess you could plug it into a laptop, computer and Bob's your uncle. The only thing is I guess you can't like put the camera out like I could do this. I just can't see myself anymore and it freaks me out. <laughs> ah. But yeah, I guess I could sort of set it up so it sits in the middle and I look right. But that hurts your eyes. How do people do that? Anyway, I'm going to have a shower and edit. But I just feel really accomplished on my Monday. So there you go. Let's leave this off with saying hello, goodbye to Caddy. There she is. Oh, oh, we've got Look at that str oh, she even made a sound. Oh, oh look, there's a moo. You look, oh, that's when she's grumpy. That She wants me to leave her alone when she does that. We've got a wild moo down here. Do you see her? There she is. Yeah, they're both in the hallway. Bless. Quickly, I just want to mention, I need to stop doing this. I've, I've, barely, I've been talking for 13 minutes. But I just want to mention, I watched Fate, the Winx Saga. The Winx Saga on the weekend. It was only six episodes long. Enjoyed it. Wasn't the best Netflix TV show I've ever watched. But I did think it was alright. I like sort of supernatural type storylines. So that was good. I'm on the last episode of Bridgerton. I've got to wait for my sister. I'm not as obsessed with it as everyone else is. Like yes, I'm in as good looking. But I don't think it's the greatest thing to come out of Netflix. I think they've had way better shows. For example, I think The Queen's Gambit was way better. And what else have I watched? I felt like I watched something else. Oh, when we were away, we watched Lupin. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that was a brilliant, brilliant TV series. It's actually in French, and I've never quite always watched shows in a different language. I don't know why, because they're also brilliant. But I watched Lupin, and that was an amazing TV show. So I've been, I've been watching a lot of TV shows recently and my YouTube watch later list has got to over 300 videos. I still have Vlogmas videos in there. I just haven't been in the mood for YouTube. Which is weird because I, I enjoy YouTube. I go through phases though and all of a sudden I'll just smash out a whole lot of YouTube. Oh, I also, because we all know, the last week, the week before, I finished Outland of the Book. Finally started watching the TV show. I only watched the first episode. The first episode was like, it was okay. I wasn't drawn in. If this was, if I had never read the book and Outlander had just come out today and nobody had any preconception of it, I think I'd be like, eh, about it. Like, I wouldn't rush to watch it. That's how I felt about the first episode. But I hope it gets better. I know it gets better. Well, people say it gets better. Maybe I should stop listening to people. <laughs> but yeah, I sort of keep you updated with them. Um, all the TV shows I'm watching. Okay, I'm going to shower and edit now. And I probably won't see you all till tomorrow. Australia Day. Tuesday. No work. Mm. Yes. Oh, we've got a belly up pup. Let me show you belly up pup. This, everyone, is a classic belly up pup. It's when she lies upside down. Apparently when a dog lies like this, it means they're very comfortable. Molly never, ever lies like this. That's just Molly though. Look at her. You belly up. Hey. I'm gonna put my footsies on your belly. She's probably so pissed off at me. Okay, you have a good sleep. Okay. Good work, belly up pup. Nice. Nice work. Good work, Moles. <laughs> Can't even see her. There she is. <laughs> have a good nap, everyone. I'm just gonna go shower. Knitted. The sky is so pretty tonight. Look at that. It's showing off. I'm holding my camera down here because I'm still awkward about doing this in public. But happy Wednesday. I'll fill you in on what happened on Tuesday. But um, I just thought I'd show you my disgusting, sweaty, red-faced self after working out. At least the sky looks pretty when we came out tonight. So that's good. Um, and I need to get a good, I don't know how do people do it, but they set up their camera in their car, I guess 
they have some sort of contraption or something but it'd be really good if I could figure that out because then I could just talk to you while driving home and honestly that would just save me time because look I just don't know you know I'd have to put something up here but I just don't know what or how hope I don't know maybe I'll figure that out one day but yeah just finished a set oh oh cool there we go um so I'm all sweaty Betty and gross everyone's sort of left now so I sort of feel okay <laughs> I think people are like why is this girl one brought a camera and then two now sitting in a car and talking to the camera it's weird I know but the session was really good sweat a lot it's disgusting so it's seven o'clock at night and it is 32 degrees celsius i reckon the humidity is through the roof though it has to be in the 80s it's just gross so now i'm gonna go home and eat because i am starving and um see what the puppies are doing and just I don't know, enjoy a nice chilled night home, but let's just take in the sunset one more time. Oh, look. I love it when the sky is like really pretty colors. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, let's drive home and get some dinner. Home now, I've had dinner. I had spaghetti bolognese and it was amazing. But speaking of food, I need to get better with sticking to a diet or not even that I need to change up the food I'm eating because already today when I went to have lunch which was just some meat and um, I'm just gonna like undo my hair and get ready for bed while I'm talking I was already dreading in my head eating that and salad and I was trying to convince myself to go just go buy food but I didn't I stayed strong so that means I probably I need to change up the food I eat more and Speaking of diet, I'm really bad at sticking to it on the weekend and and it's not like It's not like I eat a whole heap of bad food. I just don't eat on the weekend so I would rather like I just Don't feel hungry and that's not good for you. I should still be eating Have some water Which, By the way, I've done a good job in, in having more than two liters of water Every day this week so far. Like it's only Wednesday, so it's only three days. Today's nearly three liters though, so that oh it's so good. So yeah, that that's one thing I need to work on. And I'm a bit scared that because I had a like bad weekend, didn't really eat much, and then had like takeout on Saturday night. I don't know what we had on Sunday. And just not having like a great, you know. I just fear I'm gonna like not lose anything but that's my own fault it's always it's food is always my number one problem it's not turning up and exercising I need to wash my hair tomorrow um it's it's the eating so huh, I need to get better with that that is something I need to get better with which you know if you have any recipes or food that you like to eat or cook when you're trying to eat healthy um let me know below I'd love to see what uh, uh what food you guys make and maybe it'll give me inspiration to try something different because I'm really bad at coming up with new meals all the time. And another thing, water. I love water. I don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea, so when I wake up in the morning, I can literally drink half of this just after I wake up. Like, it is my favourite thing. I need, everyone needs water, but like, oh, I just, I just... Some people just don't have water that much and I'm like, oh my god, like, I'd be dead. But, here's my problem. I don't like many drinks. I like water and maybe some milky drinks. I don't like coffee, I don't like tea. And then I mainly like soft drink, which is really bad for you. But like, if you're someone like me and I'm drinking three litres of water a day, and sometimes you just want a different taste in your mouth, there's not much else I really like, but like, coke or a lemon lime and bitters just probably a bit better than coke and that's an, that's another problem i have because other people just like have coffee you know and that's like a different flavor whereas for me i'm like water hmm. sometimes i feel like i drink too much water then i'm like bloated no oh, i'm not a dietitian or scientist or anything so i don't know no idea but moving on just because i'm staring at it i just want to tell everyone how well this is working and having a to-do list every day 
even for things like prepare your lunch for work. If I literally didn't write it down, I would get to 10 o'clock and probably remember to do it instead of like, I've already done my lunch for work tomorrow. Um, I already did the meat the other day. But I just made some sweet potato, like put it in the oven and cooked that. So I'm going to have that tomorrow with vegetables because tomorrow's a fasting morning so we don't eat until lunchtime, which I'm actually okay with because I'm not a big breakfast person either. I know, I'm not that good. Oh, this is probably why, Ali, you can't lose weight. Oh, gosh. But yeah, the diary, so far, three days in, it's going good. I am really liking it. Now I just have to stick to every Sunday actually filling it out. But let's talk about Australia Day. So that was yesterday. It was a public holiday. And clearly I didn't film anything. And look, we just didn't do anything. Last year we did have like an Australia Day party and I had like friends and family come over. Um, but this year, because part of my family will bring their dogs over because they all like playing but because my dogs have kennel cough, well one confirmed kennel cough, the other one I reckon she has it. They couldn't really, they didn't want to come over because they have puppies too so we didn't really have any family come over. I had to work a bit in the morning and then yeah we just, we didn't do much. I just sat at home and actually caught up on some YouTube videos which was really really nice. I read my book, I planned some Facebook posts. It was just a, it was just one of those days. Okay while I'm talking to you I'm actually going to put this on. So this. It was something that Mecca recommended me because I get a lot of my makeup from um, Mecca Australia and it like won the award for like the best face or something. I'm like I'll give it a try because I need, I don't, I never used to do anything really for my face but I needed something so I thought I'd give it a try and um, you don't have to but you can use it as an overnight mask and I often do and my face just feels really good the next day like it just it just feels better I'm not saying it's gonna feel amazing for everyone but it really does just I don't know it just makes my face feel good I don't know you know the technical terms of what it's doing to my face but it makes it feel nice that is what matters so I at least try to do this once a week my face is starting to feel a bit gross I guess from sweating and all that stuff like okay I have washed it but I'm just gonna whack this on while I'm talking to you. So Australia Day was yesterday and yeah didn't do much. If my dogs were better I might have taken them. There was like a Get Active Expo in town that I might have gone to maybe because you could, could like take your dogs there just to see what's happening. Maybe would have taken them to the beach um, and for people who don't know in case you are not Australian um, I guess Australia Day is a bit like 4th of July. It's our day to celebrate being Australian. And normally it's just like, because it's in summer. We have it in summer as well. Um, it's just barbecues, beach, swimming, and really a whole lot of people just getting completely wasted. I don't drink, so it's like not, it's not really my thing. <laughs> um, but I do normally like like getting together with family and friends on Australia Day. But yeah, just we just didn't do it that didn't do that this year. Just didn't do much at all. And I'm not gonna lie, it was really nice. It felt weird going back to work today though, because it was like went to work for one day, had a day off, then went back to work today. That felt weird. But something I do want to mention because I don't want to be one of those people that doesn't talk about important topics. And I think it needs to be mentioned is um if you're Australian you'll understand what I'm about to go on about. If you're not, maybe look it up. But I am in favour of changing the date for Australia Day because I do realise it's not inclusive of all of, uh, of all Australians. So I have no issue with changing the date. I'm not attached to the date. I think it's important though that we do have a day to celebrate being Australian no matter what day of the year it is. But it doesn't have to be January 26th because I know there are people in the community who don't look at that day as a day of celebration and we shouldn't have to have it on that day because they should be included in part of celebrating Australia. And that's all I'm going to say about it. You can disagree with me, I don't care, but that's just my opinion on it. But I'm actually really tired, it's only 9 o'clock, you can really see. 
Do I look really tired? I feel really tired. So I'm just going to read more. P.S. I Still Love You. Just book number two to All the Boys I've Loved Before. It is very different from the movie. Unless I forget what the movie was like. It's very different from the movie. It's not bad, but it is, it's different. So I'm liking it and I don't know how much more I have. I think I'll definitely reach my goal, which was reach chapter 41. I think I'm definitely going to get there. I'm on chapter 34 or something. So that will be achievable by the end of this week. So that's good. And yeah, that's pretty much all I feel like doing. Oh, and quick pup date. Uh, they're both fine. They cough a bit and that's about it. We booked Cadbury in for an x-ray next week on Monday because that'll be two weeks. Actually, Tuesday because you can get in Monday. Um, that'll be two weeks since the problem started. And we're hoping that the esophagus has gone down and this was a one-time thing. <sighs> Fingers crossed. All right, I'm going to wash my hands now because I just feel sticky. So you can see this like face mask, it makes your face look really shiny, but it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. That makes sense. Like if I touch it, it does feel a bit sticky and dewy, I don't know. But yeah, see how shiny. And yeah, tomorrow I literally just wash it off, so I just sleep with it and it just makes my face feel good. So in case anyone's interested, go look it up if it focuses. I like it. it was, it's good stuff. Give it a try if you're interested in trying something new. Like I said, I'm not big on the facial stuff and I haven't been the greatest at always taking care of my skin. So if you actually have anything you want to recommend me, feel free to let me know as well below because, yeah, I'm always interested to try new things out and see what works, what doesn't work and all that. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you all tomorrow for Thursday. We're doing boxing tomorrow. She told us tonight. Tomorrow's boxing. I was like, <sighs> I have a love-hate relationship with boxing. <laughs> it's only eight minutes though, she said, so I should be okay. By she, I mean my, like, instructor. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. I probably look dead. I might try and take the camera and talk before so you can see what I look like before and after a session of training. Yeah, I'll probably be dead. Alright. Catch y'all tomorrow. It's Thursday, woo woo. I'm holding the camera down here. Once, not because I'm embarrassed. This is a really bad angle too. But because when I lift it up, like you can see how bad the the sun is. So I'm holding it here-ish because when I, yeah, it just, it's just harsh. But um, I'm about to go to boot camp. Ew, I, oh, someone like spilt something on my steering wheel. It's like sticky, that's gross. Um, yeah, we're about to go to training. We're doing boxing tonight. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday. But she was like, you're doing boxing tomorrow? And I was like, ah, 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 ah. I have a love-hate relationship with boxing. I hope the rest of the session is really nice and good. And then I can deal with the boxing. But lighting oh my gosh what happens when you try and film at 5 51 p.m when the sun is just like harsh and oh god and i park in this direction because it's easy for me to drive off but um yeah that's what i'm about to do so this is what uh you know not red i want to see how red my face is afterwards like the before and after so this is before and by the way i really need to get my eyebrows done because it is not looking great right now. Anyway, this is before with the really terrible lighting. Let's see what after looks like. And after. You know, I'm not as red as I was last night and the sun's gone down now, so it is not as bad. But boxing, excuse me, while I'm just like getting my phone out so I can play my music. Um, my arms, <laughs> my arms hurt. Um, boxing was actually really good and I actually really enjoyed that session. It wasn't as hot in there tonight. There was a really good breeze coming through. We just sort of work out in a local school's um, hall type area. Shed often is what a uh, lot of schools up here call them. And it was good. Fortunately we don't have a pretty sunset tonight. Like no pretty uh, colours in the sky. But um, yeah, I'm going to go home and eat some dinner, which is leftover spag bowl. Woo woo. My life is thrilling, I know. And I'm going to pump this aircon 
and go home. So just sort of show you. Not as red. I think I was way more red yesterday. I felt worse yesterday. I felt like way more sweaty and stuff. So I won't be able to move my um, mouse at work tomorrow though because I'm fairly sure my arms will actually be jelly. So that's fun. Oh my god, it's actually shaking. <laughs> All right, I'm gone. I'm gonna eat my dinner. It's now a fair bit later. I think it's just after 9:30. Had a delicious dinner. Watched a little bit of Below Deck. Scheduled some stuff in. And now I'm probably just gonna read and go to bed because I'm didn't actually end up reading last night. I was so tired. I crashed like instantly. So that was good. Um, I had to schedule Instagram posts because that is one thing I need to get better at is uploading to Instagram. I have thousands of photos that have just never seen the light of day and I'm like, well, I took them. I might as well just post them, you know? But I just, I don't know. I think it's mainly the captions. Anyone else struggle to write Instagram captions? Someday I'll just put something like Monday. And that's it, because I can't literally think of anything else. So I need to get better with Instagram, because I really do enjoy Instagram. I love taking photos. Um, I, I did a photography degree. I don't know how good I am. You know, I did do it. So I need to get better at that. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll have a link down below. Feel free. It is a lot of Disney photos, because it's mainly a lot of old travel photos. Just because, as you guys are seeing, my normal life is pretty boring. The one thing I don't like about training at night, well, I have training at 6.15, so it goes to 7, so I don't get home till about 7.20, and it just feels like all of a sudden I'll sit down, eat dinner, and the next minute it's like 8.30, and I'm like, where's the night gone? And it's just because training's at night, so it just... That's the one reason I don't like it at night, but I hate waking up early, so I know I'd rather just do it at night. Trust me, I have tried the early morning thing. It doesn't work for me, so yeah. Something I did want to mention, it was on my mind today, only because I follow so many UK people. I don't think many UK people watch my channel, but um, I feel really bad for them right now they're in their like third lockdown and maybe where you live you're in a lockdown too and I'm sorry if I just don't know that but I think it's just because I follow so many UK people I you know I see all their content and it's just so hard I'm sorry if this is shaking my arm's shaking um it's you know you see their posts and they're like stuck in lockdown again quite depressed and I'm like oh, as much as I love sitting at home, I don't think I could do it for as long as they've had to. Yeah, I see how, like, upset they're getting by it. And you, I guess you would get a bit depressed. And it sort of makes me feel bad that we are... One, it makes me feel bad for them because, you know, they are stuck at home and nothing is normal. And then two, it just makes me feel incredibly lucky to live in Australia where I think we've done considerably well with this virus. Granted, I think being an island helps. No, technically the UK is an island, but like we have just shut borders and Australians haven't been able to travel overseas since March. I know some UK people were still able to travel overseas. Like we literally can't leave our country without a very very good reason and um as much as those rules are annoying I know they're in place for a reason so I just feel so lucky that we handled it so well and just feel so sad for anyone who's still in that situation like I know America's not normal but at least I see I see things looking like normal there but it doesn't mean like COVID cases are under control that's for sure but it's just it's just so it's so crazy how different it is in different places and it's just, I don't even know how to like, you know, uh, articulate it would be, I guess, the right word. It's just weird. Does anyone else sort of feel like this? Like, are you an Aussie and you're just like, like, we're back to normal and 
do you just think that that's crazy that the, the rest of the world sort of isn't? Like, we have some restrictions. I know there are more restrictions in, in other states than there are currently in my state. But it's just... Like we've we've had it pretty, we've had it pretty good. I think I only went into a lockdown at the very beginning, so that was almost a year ago now. And I don't even know if I can consider it a full lockdown because I still had to actually go to work. So I wasn't, I was never just stuck in my home and allowed out for like an hour a day to go for a walk. And I was, you know, actually. I had to go to work and whatnot so I still got out of the house so it's just it's just crazy to think about isn't it how everybody's just at different stages and I really really hope it is going to get better and we're only in January and I know I shouldn't be so Debbie Downer already but it's just honestly looking like it's not going to get better like anytime soon like we all hoped it would but I just don't feel like it's going to you know, I remember the people last year who were like, this is going to last for years. And I was like, surely not. Like, I looked up Spanish influenza. Mm. Um, I looked that up. So, yeah, people didn't travel as much then because it cost a lot of money to travel. But that only lasted two years. And I'm like, okay, with modern medicine, surely this won't last two years. And if that's the case, it's already been a year and two months or something because they first the first case was... Was it October or November 2019? So I'm like, we should be there, right? But I don't know. I don't know. So they were just my thoughts. And if you're from the UK, I hope you're doing well right now. Actually, if you're from any country that is in a lockdown where maybe you're not doing so well, feel free to chat to me if you just need someone to talk to. Sometimes different time zones. It doesn't always work out. But I will respond when I'm actually awake. But yeah, I just want to know you have someone to talk to if you want to talk to me. So now I'm going to read. P.S. I still love you. Oh, I didn't read last night. I'm halfway through. I'm just looking up at it right now. My bookcase. Let me show you. This is my bookcase. Well, it's like part of my bed. I literally got it just so I could put my books up here. Um, I have read... All, I have two sets of Harry Potter. This is my original set. That is a falling apart. Some pages actually fall out. This is a really nice box set that I refuse to read, and I really should, because it is really nice. And aesthetically, I love that each book is a different colour, like that just brings me joy. I just can't, I just can't put myself to, you know, actually read it. And then I got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in my house colour, and I sort of want to get all the rest of the books in my house colour, just because, why not? And then other Harry Potter, that's pretty much the Harry Potter shelf. And then I've just shoved my Two of the Boys of Love Before books up there. That's the one I'm currently reading, the blue one, and the Queen's Gambit. So, yeah, and there are like, there's more books down that way. There's lots of Disney ears. I need to put more up on the wall. I've just been incredibly lazy. And instead, it's dark, I'm sorry, they just sit up there <laughs> like that with all my magic bands. <laughs> oh, remember wearing those? Good time. All right, I'm going to wrap this up here and I will see you all on Friday, hopefully. If not, definitely Saturday because it's the last day. We'll see. It's probably already gone for forever. I'm sorry. It's Saturday, as you just read from somewhere in this area. Um, and, like, I've had a friend come join me. It's not an ideal, but I'm not going to sit here the whole time and be like, no, it, I know, it looks bad. This is my life. Friday. Went to work and it definitely felt like a Friday. Oh, by the way, excuse the wet hair. I had a shower because my hair was just gross. What is it even doing over here? My God. And it's so thin. I wish I had thick hair. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I just had a shower, so. Deal with that. And I am wearing clothes. I'm wearing like a crop top. This is like my around the house wear. It's just really comfy. And if we don't have air con on, it's just nice to feel a bit free. So Friday went to work, went and smashed out boot camp and as I predicted I could feel it all week and I do have scales here but like I don't know how accurate they are to the scales that they use but yeah I did gain. It wasn't a whole kilo. It was pretty much what I lost in the first week and I've already weighed myself again this morning 
And according to my scales, I've lost it all again. So I could just feel it though. It wasn't, it just didn't feel like a good week. And I'm not going to let myself get worked up like I used to. Like it used to really upset me. But I've now sort of gone to a point where I'm like, it happens. Didn't lose weight. Move on. We'll try again next week. I know what I need to do to improve that and make it better. Something I do want to start doing, but I'm unsure because of... Caddy's condition. I'll give you an update on her soon. Um, as I want to take them for W's. I can't say the word too loud because she might hear me. But I want to take them for W's. You know what W means for a dog? dog. I can't if I say it too loud, they will literally come and attack me. But I'm too scared to uh, take them just in case it sets anything off, especially because I have kennel cough and I was looking it up. They say maybe use a harness and not like a leash attached to a collar because it pulls on their neck. Obviously, we have harnesses, but I'm just going to wait for Katie to get checked out. But that's something I do want to start doing is a couple of days a week, just going for a quick little W <laughs> um, in the morning, like half an hour max. But I just know that will help. You know, walking is such great exercise, like a great um, weight loss. Sorry, exercise. It is great exercise. It's fantastic for weight loss because every time, every time I go on holidays... I lose weight and that is because I actually walk like at Disney I'm walking 25,000 30,000 steps a day or more and it's fine it doesn't bother me like yeah my feet hurt at the end of the day but that allows me to eat what I want and I actually lose weight when I'm on holidays I do it every time it's just like a skill I have it just shows me that I know I need to walk more you know, I just get too engrossed in TV shows and all that. So that's something I do want to start doing when I know that they can come. Because if I go without them, they'll be very upset. So when I know they can come with me, I want to start doing that. And like, yeah, I know I can clean up my diet. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to let it get to me. It happened. I felt it was going to happen. And we'll just move on. So that happened. Apart from that, the exercise for the week. Um, I've been really scared because the... Remember like a, a week or two ago I said last year I literally only did like 10 workouts, like 10 sessions of a class, a fitness class, and pretty much each one of those set off my neck and made it hurt really bad. And I was scared that this would happen with what I'm doing now, but it hasn't been and it just feels like I just feel good afterwards. Like it might hurt a little bit, but it's mainly because when I wear might be too much information but fun fact about me when I wear crop tops like bras that actually cross over in the back that somehow screws up my upper back and like neck it sets off my neck issues so I can't wear them for long even though they feel comfy to begin with but if I wear it for a full day like I can guarantee that night my neck's gonna be screwed so it's just a little fun fact about me so I've been really uh, surprised that it hasn't set off my neck and I've just felt really good after the exercise and you know each time I'm pushing myself further and further you know instead of just uh, not giving up but you know I'm so exhausted I'm like oh my god I can't go anymore I try and at least do one or two more you know whatever the exercise is we're doing and if there's running I will do the run even though I'm like more of a slow jog I won't do burpees because going up and down too much really gives me head spins. I don't know if it is because I'm overweight. I don't know if it's just me in general, just even if I was skinnier. Um, so I just, I can't do that motion too much. So they're the one things like I won't do. So I usually do like super fast star jumps or something. But yeah, I'm just trying to, each week I can feel myself getting better and I've only done it for two weeks. Something I have noticed is and this sounds so bad, but we have two flights of stairs at work to get to my office. Like, I can take the lift as well, but I at least always take the stairs. But, like, last year, at the end of last year, if I walked those two sets of stairs, I'd walk into my office completely, like, puffed and out of breath. I already can walk up those stairs and not do that. So that, my friends, is an accomplishment. Woo! Go me. And for those wondering on my other goals on my list, which was a 10-4 sessions, I did that. Yes! Um, drink two to three liters of water a day. Being on track for that, got my water here. I actually decided to use one of my <laughs> Disney World cups today because we don't really use them that much. So I'm on track with that. And yeah, that's all my fitness stuff. So I feel like I'm doing 
good. Yeah, I haven't lost as much as I would hope, but I feel my fitness improving, so that is a good start. Um, on to other goals of the week that I had. I wanted to get up to chapter 41, remember, of P.S. I Still Love You, which is book number two, to all the boys I loved before. I finished it last night, and I've started this one, Always and Forever, Lara Jean. And yeah, I'm sorry I didn't film yesterday. I actually felt super tired after boot camp. I came home, ate dinner, and I literally thought I was going to go to bed, but I'm like, no, I can't go to sleep this early. So I actually went on to Disney+. Plus. I don't go on there enough. Um, and I watched Drumline, which I remember watching that movie years ago, and I loved it. Like, US marching bands, I just wish we had them here. I would go, like... To sporting events just to see them more than the sport like I wish in our football games up here we had a marching band because it just oh, the skill those people have I just appreciate it so much um, so I watched that finished the book and then crashed and then now we're here on Saturday so you've been uh filled in I've still got a few other things I have to complete this week but I just want to say my diary or planner is doing wonders like I'm so happy I have it so far it's just really helped me keep on track this week one thing I have been listening to um, if you're a Disney fan Disney World in particular as we all know that's my favorite no offense to Disneyland lovers but me and my sister have been absolutely obsessed with the rivers of light soundtrack recently I was literally just listening to it before I like pulled the camera out it is so good and I'm so upset that that show is never coming back. I'm also incredibly grateful that I did decide to sit there in the rain and wait for it because I didn't realise that that would be the last time I see it. A lot of people hated on that show. I don't think it was a bad show. I think it was a perfect show for Animal Kingdom. I think anything more than that is going to be too much. Like you have animals around. You can't can't do fireworks. I don't even think something like World of Colour could be done at Animal Kingdom. I do agree the projections could have been a little bit better, but it was still a very good show. I actually, oh, I think it's because I've only, because I've seen it so much, I actually think I preferred Rivers of Light to Fantasmic. Oh, I just, I don't know, but it's the music. It's the music. So we've been listening to that uh, soundtrack. Um, pretty much for weeks now, but I just thought I'd let you all know in case you've never listened to it. Go give it a listen. It's on Spotify. Or it's on YouTube. Go look it up. It's just a really good soundtrack. So now let's give you a pup date. I've got to go find said pup. There's one pup. Let's update you and her first. Her count cuffs seems to have gone away. She's not on her antibiotics anymore, so that's good. She finished that. And you're not really coughing, are ya? You no, know, I'm a good girl. Yeah, we did find a little bit of vomit right here last night. It could have been either of them. I'm more inclined to think it was hers only because Caddy will always vomit on the rug. It's terrible, but she does. We literally, Mickey and I had to buy this new rug for my parents because I still live at home. And that's the old rug they had. So we had to buy a new one because we named that Spewy. That's how much Spew it had on it. And this one's, it's getting there. I'll have to buy another rug soon because of problem child. There, there she is. Do you want to tell everyone how you're going? Ma'am, how are you going? No, okay. Yeah. So let's fill you in and just watch her. She, oh, it's a big yawn, wasn't it? She doesn't really cough anymore really only when she gets excited or we're giving her dinner she will start coughing i'm sorry i said the d word it's not it's not that time yet but like i said we did see a little bit of it wasn't the vomit sorry it's like the regurgitation uh, it could have been either of them we're still feeding her upright and trying all that but someone that's you you have an x-ray on tuesday Go away, Mum. I'm sleeping. Yeah, so she has an x-ray. On Tuesday, we're going to get confirmation about her esophagus and see if it's changed, gone up or down. God, this is hideous. 
Um, and obviously if it's still the same, we then need to start all the tests to see what cause, what's the cause for the megaesophagus. Like I said, there are two known causes. We are praying it's one of those. Praying it's the first one because it's the cheaper option to test for. Second one we have to send to the US, but um, we need it to be one of those causes if she has it because then they know how to treat it. If it's anything else, it's like they have to just test and see how it goes. But like I said, she's, she's completely normal. So I don't know, apart from like the getting excited cough, but she could just still be lingering with camel cough. She had no antibiotics. That's their update. So she's, so by the time you're watching this, that night you're watching on Tuesday night, I should have an answer about Caddy. So everyone, I know by the time you're watching it's a bit late, but you know, let's all pray that it's good. So I'm gonna wrap this up here. I might fill you in later. My brother might be coming over though. He doesn't really like to be filmed, which is fair. He doesn't have to be. So I'll see if I do end up filming anything. It's so bad. But I've already been talking for a long time and I need to stop doing this. So I wanna go back to watching more YouTube because I have, I think I'm down to 290. Whoa, I have 290 videos to get through and that's what I was doing this morning when I woke up and it was just, just a good way to start my day. In classic alley fashion, I didn't say goodbye and it's Sunday, oh my god. It's not as big, but it's just now more red. Anyway, it's Sunday, I was just about to get all my footage off and I was like, wait, didn't say goodbye yet. So... Um, yeah, goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this week. I can't even remember what I've done this week. I worked out. I gained weight. That was all I did, <laughs> pretty much. But next week we should get some answers about Cadbury. So I hope and pray they are good answers. <sighs> That'd be nice. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy weekly vlogs. And um, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, like feel free to, no pressure, but like it's a nice thing to do. So thank you if you are subscribed. And um, hopefully this will be gone next week, you won't have to stare at it, and I won't have to stare at it either. And yeah, I will see you all in next week's weekly vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>